Hello, welcome to my kitchen. So I've decided to share with you guys how I organize my kitchen. I have a fairly small kitchen and I only have like one full size cupboard and everything else is small. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. My name is Vera. Don't forget to click subscribe so you can see more videos. Let's get started with the video and I'm gonna show you my cupboards. Okay, so here is um, one side of my kitchen. I only got two cupboards and one is a corner, so that's a third one, and it is tiny. If So I only have one full size cupboard. Just like there, I have a small one that's on top of the microwave. And then I have um, some on top of the stove, and then there's one that's tiny one, and then there's one on top of the fridge. So it's very little in total, I only have six cupboards and they're not even full size so and also in the bottom i will show you i have a corner cupboard as well which is very tiny and then i have one small one here with a drawer and then beside the dishwasher and under the sink i have a cupboard and then i have four drawers two are for utensils and two big deep drawers and then in this side i have one right beside the stove and a drawer and yeah so i will show you guys how i organize everything and how where I put everything. Now I only have one full size cupboard so this is how I organize it and this is how it looks. I really needed to make all my dishes and um, glasses and mugs in there so what I did is I actually put placemats from the dollar store just to make it look more nicer and cleaner and then I bought a rack from the dollar store and I put my little plates right on top and then I had my bowls underneath and then I just put my big plates right beside it. In the second row, I also got another dollar store little rack where I can put glasses underneath and then mugs just so there's more space and room for this cupboard. So next to the big cupboard, I have a small one and this is where I put all my baking and tea and coffee ingredients and I actually made a video of how I organized this little cupboard and I used everything from the dollar store mostly. Right on top of the microwave I have a small cupboard and this is where I just put all my containers in. It's fairly empty right now because everything is dirty but I also made a video on how I organized that. Over here where the drawers are, the first drawer I just have all my forks and utensils and spoon and a little basket for all the kids spoons and stuff that Luca can reach. And then in the second drawer I have all my knives and just uh, scissors and other things that you need and I use dollar store baskets for organizing that. And then uh, down here in the big deep drawer, I have my bowls, my baking stuff, glass bowls, and I just have other stuff. I have a little basket that's holding little gadgets like lemon squeezer, apple slicer. I also added a dollar store liner on the drawer just because it was really dirty and it was hard to wash. Now the bottom drawer, I have all my pots in here and I just piled my pots together and then I got this from the dollar store and it organizes all my lids and it keeps them organized and not messy. Now this whole cupboard was pretty tricky, so I just added all my cutting boards, my baking sheets, my baking pans, and everything like that, and it all fit pretty well. And then under the sink, I just have my garbage and cleaning products and sponges, and I also made an organization video of how I organized under here because it was a real big mess, and now it's more functional and organized. In this corner cupboard, I placed dollar store baskets that really helped keep it organized and I just put my kids plates and cups and everything in there that my son can grab for himself and then I just have some extra baking stuff uh, a mixer and a waffle maker in there the top corner cupboard was the most trickiest one to organize so I have very little bit things in there just little um, coffee and stuff baking things and honey and yeah it's not really full because there's not much you can put in there Right by the stove in this small cupboard, I have all my spices in here and I have a Lazy Susan so that really helps to grab all the spices. And then just right on top I have my vitamins and essential oils and essential oils and just breadcrumbs and just extra things like that. And then right on top of the stove I have all my like aluminum foil, Ziploc bags and everything like that. I just find it works really well up there. Now down here in the bottom I have a drawer that just has all other utensils, 
spoons and spatulas and stuff like that while I'm cooking and then this bottom drawer I really like that it pulls out so I just have like my oven mittens and apron and then just oils down there for cooking and then on top of my fridge I don't actually have anything really it's just like extra papers and a vases and then I also have a pantry so that helps me have lots of room and I added this coupon um, area because I always forget my coupon so I thought it'd be fun and then with this pantry, I actually have a video of how I organize everything, but what I added this time was I added that dollar store liner, so it makes it look so much more nicer and cuter and cleaner. So if you want to check out how I organize my pantry, um, the link is right on top, so you can watch that. I hope this video gave you guys some ideas if you also have a small kitchen, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click thumbs up. Ay, 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 what did you do? This is real life. When you have a toddler, your kitchen is never clean. Oh dear. Say, oh no. Oh no. Big mess. Can you say clean up? In real life, your kitchen is never clean. Oh, you're going to clean up? Clean up, clean up. Good job, your mama's helper. Oh, you're done? Okay, that's it. You guys should give me some ideas of what to do over here. I have my water and like my potatoes here. So if you have any ideas of how I can organize that and what I can do this corner, that'd be awesome if you gave me an idea. Oh my goodness. Are you a dog? Are you a dog? Look at those curls. Look at this curly hair.